Baking bread can be fun and challenging, but sometimes we don't have the time or patience to activate yeast, knead, proof, and shape, and bake. Sometimes we just want to curl up under a blanket, watching our favorite show with bread laden with cheese. That's exactly what we'll be doing today, so let's get started. First, we'll grab our loaf pan and spray it down with cooking spray. Since cheese bread requires the use of cheese, we are going to coat the pan generously with shredded Parmesan cheese. I'm using about half in the loaf pan and we'll save the other half for topping the bread. This recipe is super simple. You don't even need a mixer for it. Our large bowl and something to stir will do the trick. You can use either a wooden spoon, a rubber spatula, or a dough hook. I'm using a dough hook just because I like it. The first ingredient will be two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Next, I'm going to add a mixture of one teaspoon of salt, one eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne, and one eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper, followed by one tablespoon of baking powder. The baking powder will act as our rising agent in lieu of yeast used in traditional bread. I'm sure there is a bunch of science and sorcery behind why this works, but at the end of the day it works, so we're going to keep mixing. Mix the dry ingredients together with your weapon of choice, then we can add our remaining ingredients. Toss in four ounces of cubed extra sharp cheddar cheese and then coat them in flour. This keeps them from sinking to the bottom of the pan. Now we're going to add three tablespoons of melted unsalted butter to one cup of whole milk. Pour both into the bowl before adding half a cup of sour cream. Lightly bust up one egg and add to the mixture. We want it just combined and not overworked too much. We can now transfer the dough into the cheesed up pan and spread it around evenly. Try to get it into the corners of the pan and don't let any of that doughy goodness escape. Finally, we can add our remaining Parmesan. Feel free to add more or less on top, depending on your preferences. In the famous words that won my husband's heart, there's no such thing as too much cheese. Now that we've properly cheese coated the dough, the loaf is going into a 350 degree oven for 45 to 50 minutes. So it's been about 50 minutes and look how lovely our bread has turned out. That cheese has turned into a beautiful crust. While it's still hot, quickly turn the loaf out onto a cooling rack. We're gonna let this guy chill out and cool off for about three hours. It's been about three hours, so let's cut into it. Look how those cheese cubes just melt into the bread and leave those fluffy voids. We can't have cheese bread without soup, so I decided to whip up a quick tomato soup to pair with it. The sweet and salty soup pairs so well with the savory flavors of the bread. I think I'm about to sign off and curl up under a blanket with this one. That's all for today. I hope you'll try this one because it's super simple and forgiving for a budding bread baker. Reach out to me in the comments below if you have any issues along the way.